All right guys, I'm excited. I got my hands on the brand new MacBook Air with the new M1 chip. I opted to go for eight gigabytes of RAM and I upgraded the storage to a 512 SSD. I really wanted to see if this thing can run Photoshop smoothly, so we're gonna test that today. I'm also going to be using the built-in microphone to record this next segment so you guys can see what it sounds like. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go and get right into the video. I had this idea to take a person and replace their head with some flowers. I've seen it done before, but I think this will be really cool. So we're gonna try that out. But first, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and see how long it takes to open. Already open, insane. So let's go ahead and make a new document. And we are gonna make this the full size document to really test this thing out. So I'm gonna do a 14 by 18 document at 300 resolution, which is pretty demanding on the processor and the RAM. So let's see if this thing can handle that. All right, so I have my document. Let's go ahead and copy the photo in. I'm gonna go right click, copy image, and then we're gonna paste it, command V, and let's transform it. And let's go ahead and try to find some flowers. Maybe these ones, I don't know yet. Let's see if we can find some other ones. I actually like these red ones a lot, so we're gonna use these ones instead. So I'm gonna right click, and then we're gonna go copy. We're just gonna paste these in place, resize them so they kind of take up the space a little bit more. I really only need the bottom part of him, so all I need to do is use the polygonal lasso tool and just quickly select around him. This doesn't have to be perfect for now. All right, this thing is extremely fast and I'm in love with it already. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna wait till the end to give it our final review. All right, so I found this other guy and I think we're gonna be able to make this work. So the first thing I wanna do is actually duplicate him, I think. And also I need to hide this dock. I just noticed that it's kind of in the way. So I need to kind of mask him out somehow. So I think I can use the clone stamp tool to accomplish this. I don't, I just don't know because there's this shape behind him, but we might be able to make it work. So actually, you know what we could do? We can actually just cut him out of the background. I think that's so much easier. Let's remove background and see what that looks like. Okay, I just remove the whole background. All right, we just had our first crash. You know, it's to be expected, but honestly, it's running super smooth besides the crash. Let's go ahead and uh, try object selection. Or no, you know what? Let's just do quick selection to remove this. I don't need it to be perfect. See, this is why I use the lasso tool because it's just so much easier and you get smoother results, but it's fine for this. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and just quickly cut the rest of this out because it's taken way too long. All right, so now we're just gonna follow the neckline and get rid of the head so we can replace it with the flowers. I don't know, it's awkward because of this bottom part right here, so I'm thinking about just cutting this part off. I actually like these flowers a lot, so we're gonna try these ones out and see what they look like in place. And I'm gonna do select subject. Is this going to work? It looked like it worked beautifully. And now let's kind of bring him down a little bit more. And then what we could do is we could duplicate the vase and, or the flower image, I, I mean. Now we could just duplicate the flower image and then add a layer mask and kind of add back what we want to show. So we can invert that layer mask. All right, so we're gonna have this big leaf right here kind of sticking out as well. This doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. I just wanted to test this chip out to see what it can do. But so far, man, I am so impressed. It has, literally hasn't hiccuped at all. It did crash one time, but that's to be expected with any beta program. So um, again, I am totally blown away so far. All right, so I'm adding this quick border just to give it some structure. And I think that looks much, much better. Make sure this is centered. And that's pretty much it. I do think I wanna have this one cut off on the top and the sides. I want it to be within this frame, just like this. That looks pretty cool. It's amazing to me how well this computer is handling things. I'm telling you guys, it's it's honestly insane. Like all the reviews are true. It's, this is next level shit right here, guys. <laughs> it really is. Let's go to Rock Grotesque, which is one of my favorite fonts right now, by the way. And let's just go extra wide, open your mind. So open your mind, save our earth, our planet, you could put there, but earth fits better. So whatever, it works, I like it. Um, I'm honestly kind of feeling like this needs to be black and white. So we are gonna go here, adjustments, uh, hue and saturation, and just desaturate it. I think that would look much better. As far as RAM goes, this is only eight gigabytes of RAM, guys. And I did upgrade the storage to a 512 SSD, but man, this thing's fast. I just made a design in Photoshop and I have to say this thing handled it flawlessly. Photoshop crashed one time and that's it. But I opened it back up and it ran smoothly. 
Obviously, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, Photoshop is running in beta right now on something called Rosetta. Even with the M1 chip being brand new and Photoshop running in beta, it ran so smooth minus the one hiccup that it had, it crashed once, I reopened it and it ran fine throughout the entire design process. So I'm just gonna say this right now, I am so impressed with Photoshop and how smooth it ran on this new M1 chip that I'm going to say it ran even a little smoother than my 2020 27 inch iMac that is behind me. And this has 40 gigabytes of RAM and it's running the latest version of i7, which is insane. So. I'm just gonna leave you guys with that. If you wanna see more videos like this one, and if you want me to talk about the MacBook Air with the M1 chip even more, you wanna see more videos about it, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that thumbs up button. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.